Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be reviewing Age of Ash, the first book in the upcoming Kithamar series by Daniel Abraham. And I was really excited to read this. Uh, apparently, this is just a thing I do where I read an author's new book when I'm only halfway through their other bigger series. But when I read this, I had only read the first two books, The Long Price Quartet. I really had enjoyed them. I've since finished the third, and it was my favorite. So I was already pretty excited. But when I saw that uh, I was able to request uh, an e-arc of this via NetGalley, I jumped at the opportunity immediately and wanted to make sure that I did uh, get it out and get it requested. Uh, and so I got it, and I was really happy and excited to read it. Uh, and so now I'm going to be talking about this book. So, if you've read Abraham, uh, whether Long Price Quartet, or I imagine Dagger and Coin, which I haven't read it either, but, you know, Abraham is going to be an author that is uh, slower to set things up, and from what, what I've read of him, too, it seems normal for there to be set up. So, this definitely was a book that was setting up quite a lot, but it also, at least to me, seemed to move quicker uh, than, like, A Shadow in Summer did, for example, with Long Price Quartet. We're following uh, our main character, Alice, although we've got a few other uh, POVs, but she's kind of the main character uh, for this book. And uh, she is living in the, the slum parts, basically, of the city of Kithamar, which is a really ancient city that's got different kind of like boroughs uh, or areas. And she's from Long Hill, which is like, you know, the worst of the worst, basically. And uh, of course, she's part of like a group that is thieving and like running a pole, I don't know they call it, to try and pickpocket. And so starting out with that, you know, at the beginning of me, I'm like, okay, we've seen this, you know, the poor people who are doing thieving. The story really does a whole lot more than that, though, does expand on it quite a lot more. The first big thing to talk about is just how good Abraham is with developing these characters, because part of the premise to, uh, and I'm not considering this a spoiler because it's part of the base premise, but a, a large part uh, of this book is Alice dealing with the fact that her older brother dies. Uh, it happens very early on, and that's kind of just a base part of the plot. Um, that is is the big motivation. And so it's looking at her grief, her trying to make sense of it, trying to work through it, uh, and how that changes her and colors everything around her, uh, including her interactions with other people. And that's kind of the inciting incident for what gets her involved in all kinds of the stuff that she's involved in uh, going throughout. Uh, and she's not a very likable character. Uh, we've got some other characters as well, too. But seeing the way they interact and how uh, these actions, these different things, affect all of the different characters was just fantastic. And I feel like they were really, really well developed uh, going into this one. Now, this will be a series um, of either three or four books. Um, I can't remember. Um, I, th I I feel like it was four, but I, I could be wrong. Either three or four. Uh, and each one will be uh, have a new main character, basically. It's going to take place roughly over the same period as my understanding, maybe a little before, a little after, uh, but with showing things that are happening. Uh, it does seem, uh, from reading this, I'm pretty confident I know who the next... Uh, POV main character is going to be based on things setting up. But so while uh, we're dealing with this very human, this very personal story of somebody dealing with grief and loss and the things that they do uh, to try to get past that, there are also are a lot of subtle things being set up for the bigger story uh, that's going to happen. So we have like a somewhat kind of religious order. We start to find out there's a lot more with going on with the city uh, then it originally seems apparent there are uh, talks about basically struggling with like succession of the prince of the city, uh, plots that go around other places. So this starts on a pretty narrow scale, but it does a lot to tease the things that are coming. Uh, and I thought it did a great job with that because it is still, this is an extremely character driven book for this first book, but it did start to kind of show some things that are going to happen. And so I think uh, with book two a lot more will build up and with seeing kind of how Abraham very masterfully weaves things together uh, from the first book to the next all the way up to the last I'm really excited to see more about what's going to happen because some of the things uh, that you kind of see or you see the effects of 
or you can kind of think maybe it's something like this happened. Uh, I think when we get the next POV character, a lot more is going to be confirmed. And so I'm really excited to see that. And so really, this was a book that, like I said, it started a little bit slow, but I found myself really, really enjoying this uh, quite a lot. It's definitely something, if you're a fan of Abraham, I def definitely recommend checking out. If you haven't read Abraham before, too, you absolutely could uh, start with this if you wanted to, um, just to kind of get a taste for his writing style, because this did feel different. Uh, than the Long Price Quartet so far. I think partially because it's a very different type of story and a very different setting. Um, still absolutely beautiful prose. The way he writes, the way he describes, the, the way he expresses emotions of his characters. He just does such a great job, really, with giving characters so much depth. And he does it better than a lot of authors out there. And so especially if you're a character-driven reader, I would really recommend this. Uh, if you're more plot driven, just be aware that it does start off a little bit slow. And a lot of this is setting up for bigger things that are going to be happening a lot later. Uh, so still not, I'm not saying you won't enjoy it, but just something to be aware of. Because that is kind of uh, what I've understood is uh, kind of Daniel Abraham's MO. Uh, with the first book of Dagger and Coin, The Dragon's Path, it's my understanding that's the same way. I'm definitely excited to uh, read that series as well and certainly will be after I finish Long Price Quartet. Um, but that's kind of what we're looking at here. There were some things too, uh, some of the themes uh, that were shown are definitely things we've seen before. So I mentioned that the main character is from Long Hill, and it's kind of like that's the slums in the area. So there's been a lot of, of media, especially with like TV movies about like, uh, you know, people who feel like very, very loyal to their neighborhood and their area and they don't want to leave. And so we play on some of those themes um, that's definitely present. And I feel like instead of feeling like it's unoriginal, it's kind of almost like it's a theme that many people would probably be familiar with or maybe even identify with. Uh, so that's kind of used to help set up what it's like to live there so that we can focus more on the characters. We do get to explore several of the different areas within Kithamar. Uh, we get some brief information about areas outside of the city as well uh, with different things going on. But most of it is revolving around the plots within the city. And I mean, the, this series is called the Kithamar. Uh, series, so I imagine it's going to largely focus on this city. And honestly, it's it's a pretty ambitious idea with having this path and then switching POVs to kind of weave the whole story together. I really think Abraham will be able to do it, and I'm really excited to get there. So this is a book that I really enjoyed. Um, like I said, I really don't have a ton of complaints. It started out uh, a little bit familiar, and so I wasn't immediately hooked in. But uh, once I got about like 20-25 percent in, I was I was very well hooked and enjoying it. So just be aware that it is a slow start, but there's a lot to offer here, and what it sets up for the next book I also think is going to be great. Um, so I will say too, uh, like Alan said in his review, please go pre-order this. Uh, it's it'll be out really soon after this video comes out. Buy it if you're interested in Abraham, because uh, Abraham is an author who has definitely had some books come out, uh, but has not been the most like successful, popular author. And so if you want more Abraham, you got to buy more Abraham. So I know some people don't like buying books uh, before a series is complete. But if you want that series to be completed, it's always a good idea to do so. So definitely check out. Um, you can, I, I assume, find it most places. But with that, that is my review of Age of Ash by Daniel Abraham. Uh, make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description for the Wizardly Duo Discord. If you want to chat this book, any book, or really anything at all, it's a lot of fun. We'd love to have you. And of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe.